Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Musings of a Fox. If this is your first time here, my name is Gabrielle and welcome to my channel. This week's video, as you can see I uploaded a little bit early, I usually upload on Saturdays, but I wanted to get this video up before the Pat McGrath Labs Matte Trans Collection goes on sale at Sephora on July 29th. So while I have obviously opened my beautiful glittery sequined gold packages, I have not yet even swatched these lipsticks. So let's do that on camera, shall we? So I picked up two colors. I picked up Elson and McMenemy. And McMenemy is the one I am like super duper the most excited. So I'm saving that one for last. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with Elson. And all the lipsticks come in this gorgeous black and gold packaging with the beautiful, um, I don't even know what to call it, like lip accoutrement. <laughs> it's solidly on there. The cap actually clicks um, behind the lip, so it's not interfering with it at all. It's totally behind it. That is some strong, strong texture. And it's all nice and weighty. It just feels as luxurious as it looks. It's Every detail is thought out and beautiful. Okay. So I know some of you may have watched some of the big YouTubers videos who had these like way before the pre-sale even happened and so you may or may not know. If you twist the lipstick by its black base, it swivels up like a normal lipstick. However, if you want to be fancy, if you swivel it by the gold, the lipstick comes straight up so as you're applying it. You have the beautiful lip. I really don't know what to call that. I, don't want, I keep wanting to call it a charm. I don't know. The lips are facing outwards as you apply your lipstick. So, um, oh my gosh, it's just so pristine and so beautiful. And I am so excited. So let's get a little bit closer, shall we? Welcome to Insanely Close to My Face, Internet. Hi. Alrighty, so this is my first ever time swatching a lipstick live in a video. So forgive my technique, you know, I'm a regular person, this is how I do my lipstick, and I know these lipsticks are incredibly pigmented, so I'm a little nervous, so forgive me if I'm a little slow and it's not one Nikki tutorial swipe, but we'll, we'll get there together, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. I'm so excited and nervous and terrified and all right let's make sure that I'm <laughs> able to see my mirror and you guys are able to see my lips and everyone is happy. I also have really kind of strange lips if you look I don't really have a defined edge to my lips so they're actually kind of hard to line it's like do you go on this edge and then have this weird like highlighted thing or do you kind of overdraw it's gonna gonna be interesting so we'll see I also have nothing on my lips no primer no nothing I'm this is these lipsticks with no help this is just my natural lips and these lipsticks so here we go so far so it's a really sweaty kind of feeling it's not super slick like maybe like a MAC lipstick is it's a little drier so we shall see A little overdraw there, but whatever. It works. It's a beautiful color. I heard complaints from people that they this wasn't as red as they were expecting. I don't I don't know whether red you want like I mean I guess that obsessed is more of like an orange red, but this is this is some red lipstick. Let's not think that this is a Viva Glam 3. This is a this is a red lipstick. Not as much transfer. Ooh, that would be really cool to kind of just do like a little bit, maybe a gloss and make kind of a stain from this. <sighs> Finding ways to just extend the life of this so I don't have to keep using full opaque <laughs> lip coverage. <whistles> okay, that was one big swipe. That is a Merry Christmas kind of lipstick there. So I'm trying to gently, <laughs> gently close it. There you go, that's Elson. Mm. 
It is so comfortable. So it keeps with that suede, I guess velvety texture the whole time you apply it. It never is like, it's not one of those once you get through that top layer of lipstick, you know, it's just slick sailing. It's very velvety um, all the way through. As you saw, I wasn't rubbing too much. The bottom lip was, for the most part, just one, you know, pressured swipe. So it's not like it was like a dainty, I mean, there's definitely some, you know, a big sweep behind it, but that is still one swipe opaque coverage. Trying to see if like the lipstick is like not falling into the cracks and so I'm having any gaps. No, that's just kind of gorgeous. <laughs> I'm gonna try and be brave. Not this lipstick, but McMenemy. I'm going to wear to my office. Yes, I wear really dark lipsticks to the office. And I'm gonna give you guys um, a breakdown of my day wearing it at the office. That'll be up on musingsofafox.com. And I don't, hmm, I'm trying to think if it'll be up exactly by the 29th. I will try. Hopefully, um, I'm gonna try and wear these Thursday the 27th and have, this should be the day this video <laughs> has gone up, and have the blog post kind of updating throughout the day and let you guys know how it's going. So kind of live blogging my day um, kind of before this video goes up. So hopefully if you post, will be up by the time you're watching this on musingsoffox.com and you guys will get an idea of the actual wear of these lipsticks. So it kind of has the, texture or like lip sensation kind of a liquid lip it's a little dry not like super you know suck the life out of your lips dry but it's not very nourishing but again I don't have a lip primer or I didn't use a lip scrub before this so my lips already could have been a little dry and this isn't helping but just so you know if you just slap these on without any prep and prep and prime haha <laughs> mac joke um it's gonna be a little bit dry so just be aware of that but there you go. Elson. Alrighty, lips cleansed, human refreshed with water. Let's go in with McManamy. That's really, so it's a much more red face than I was expecting. Ah! Ooh, this is much more um, Baby Glam 3 than I was expecting. This is a little drier than actually Elson, so it's not as much slip on the lips. Why are you slipping back down? It's a weird thing where it like slipped down into its case. It has a very red edge to it, which is a little frustrating. <coughs> Don't ever try to fix lipstick with your finger. Obviously it's not gonna go well. Small lip mishap, sorry about that. Let's just say the sponges you're screwed. That is one swipe, right? There is just one swipe. Mmm, this is so okay. So this one obviously needs a little more love and care. I'm sorry, I don't have the perfect um, application, but let's try and let's try to tidy this up a little bit. You think for as much as I wear dark lipstick, I would be a little more prepared for it to feather and bleed. I just drives me crazy when they feather and bleed a different color than the lipstick. It's like I can handle it if you know the color kind of escapes, but when this is such a dark, you know, purpley red, and then the lip line is like almost like a magenta. It's kind of like. It just looks ridiculous. This is definitely a this gets everywhere kind of lipstick and um, I almost want to say foundation second. <laughs> Do your lipstick and then your foundation because um, we have a lot of cleanup. 
on aisle four with with this one but this is definitely my kind of color this is actually like I said what I wear in the office I wear dark um, burgundies to purples in the office a lot um, Elson would be a really bright color for me to wear at the office again at this price point and this quality I'm not wearing this <laughs> to the office this is the kind of color that I would wear so this will be the one that I will be testing out and live blogging on musingswithfox.com. So even though the application of this one was a little bit trickier for me, the formula of this one actually feels a little cushier. Feels a little, um, a little more nourishing, a little richer actually. Maybe that's why it was so much trouble. Um, there's just so much more pigment there. And, mmm, yes, this is just all my 20s and 30s vampy vampire feels with this couple of, and I'm so excited about this. Um, all right. Let's zoom out and do a little quick review. Okay, obviously you can tell which one I'm feeling myself in the most. I love this lipstick. I'm so happy that I made this purchase. I was nervous, you know, it's really hard nowadays with these kinds of limited edition, you know, kind of pressured launches to know that you're getting a good product. And I've bought other Pat McGrath items before. You know, I splurge on the dark star, you know, with the beautiful blue eyeshadow. Um, and that was, I think, about $130. But you get like six items, so it averages out to about 20-ish items, a like dollars a piece, which is a little high, but like not exorbitant when you break it down to the pieces you're getting in that and just how much product is in those. Again, Pat gives you a lot of product. She's not, you know... That's a different video of companies that give you very little for a lot. Um, but, you know, I was nervous. I wanted these to be spectacular. I wanted them to be something different. I wanted them to be not like anything else in my collection, you know, aside from the epic packaging. Because, okay, you know, obviously you see these. They have an impact on the site, but are they good? You know, like, buying one of these is, you know, more than an hour's pay. So I get it. This is a big splurge for a lot of us but to me it was worth it you know I have these two I don't need to go out and buy the whole collection not I've got the ones that I know I'm gonna wear and these are gonna last me a really long time and so I'll feel like I can wear them without like oh you know these are limited edition I only have so much lipstick there's a lot of lipstick in these it's 0.14 ounces I believe let's see um, four grams. So yeah, it's bigger than my MAC lipsticks, my Urban Decays. Um, so I can use these without fear, like, oh, you know, that was one use. So I feel they're worth it to me. Totally understand anyone who says, like, $38, come on now. I mean, I have a Givenchy lipstick, so I've paid this amount of money. Um, I also have a Charlotte Tilbury, that's about 34 So I've paid this amount of money before for lipsticks, and every time I've felt it's been worth it. So you just have to choose, you know, what's best for your budget and what's realistic to how much you wear lipstick and how much you're going to use these and are you going to, you know, feel comfortable using such luxurious products. So absolute thumbs up from me. Um, you know, if you're eyeing one color, treat yourself if you can. I really think they're worth the splurge. And yeah. I'm so happy with these. I'm so excited. Again, I'm going to be vlogging on July 27th, the day this video goes up, um, what it's like to wear McMen and Me for a nine hour day, um, how many times I'll have to reapply after eating and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, please give me a subscribe. I have lots of fun, goofy, body positive, dorky, um, makeup loving content on this channel. So that's my cat begging to be let in. So I'm going to have to go. I'll see you guys next time.